All right, guys, I've got a short watch list for today. Today was FOMC day, and the market just went nuts in the afternoon. Um, and so a lot of stocks just really ran. It makes it a little more difficult to find outliers, you know, for possible setups tomorrow. Having said that, I'm very optimistic, um, you know, about finding some nice gap plays and things like that. I've got the FOMC behind me now. I'm hoping I can get back to a little bit more normal trading. Had a nice day today, um, but I, I don't like trading uh, FOMC days very much. Usually I regret it, but we had a pretty good day in the chat room today. Um, I'm going to show you the watch list, but before that, if you saw the title of this video, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple other trading websites, and it's, it's probably not what you think I'm going to say. Um, uh, for one, and the reason I'm doing this is because um, I've heard from a couple different uh, other chat room or website owners um, that have gotten what they thought was nasty emails from me slamming their service all right and like i've got time to do that and like that's my nature okay so um but it's there's there's some idiot out there um just filling out contact forms on all these different sites cutting these sites down signing my name and and uh, email address too and anyone in my chat room knows um that's not who i am so um it, it, because of this um i've met a couple nice guys all right uh bulls on wall street kunal uh, i got to know him a little bit um because we chatted about the stupidity, um, you know, that he, once I explained to him, hey, that wasn't me, um, you know, we chatted a little bit. Very nice guy. Um, another one, Clay Trader, contacted me, said, hey, why do you hate me or why are you slamming me? And I said, hey, it wasn't me. Um, another really nice guy. So it's been kind of cool meeting some nice guys. Now, this guy, um, Keith Kern, not related to uh, any slamming. Nobody contacted him pretending to be me and be mean, but. Uh, I've collaborated with him. Uh, he's got a great. He's a great swing trader. Uh, he proves that he's making money swing trading. Um, actually shows his PL and he's got like over thirty thousand followers on Stock Twits. And uh, he's starting a, another class tonight on swing trading. I have been looking to collaborate with somebody on swing trades because I'm not a swing trader. I do not hold overnight at all. I always make the joke in the chat. I won't even hold my wife overnight. All right. So I'm. It's just the nature of me and who I am. Um, so. Uh, Keith is starting uh, a new class tonight. If you go to traderstoolbox.net um, and you get in on that swing trading course, uh, he's offering a discount right now. And if you buy it with our collaboration, you actually get a free lifetime membership um, to my website, which is the live chat room, live daily calls every day. And there we are. Um, so if you're a swing trader, uh, it gives you something to do. And if you're you know, a day trader, uh, you know, give you give you those to look at as well. Uh, I'm there day trading every day the market's open, um, but a lot of people, uh, you know, prefer swing trades, and most people want both. So that's the best of both worlds if you're interested in that. Um, but anyway, the, all these guys I'm meeting are super nice. Um, and you know, I used to look at these other sites and say, you know, Ooh, I got to be better than them. I, you know, I bet I bet deep down they're really stupid, you know, or something. You know, try to try to make make yourself feel like the best one out there when you know in reality. Everybody's different. Every I guarantee you, there's people in Kunal's room that have tried my room and like his room much better, and vice versa. Um, and, and you could say it's the same for the other side. So it depend. It, it's like Wendy's and McDonald's, right? Which which one's for you? I probably a terrible analogy because none of us want to be associated with fast food. But you get the point. Um, it really depends on who you are and what you're looking for. And I'm not going to go into the differences between our services, um, but everybody's different. And so. Uh, you know, you try the different ones out and you find a home for what matches your personality. All right. So um, call it part of growing up, I guess. I realize it's, it's not competition. We're all doing our thing. And hopefully uh, you can find the right home to have, uh, you know, have a trading environment where you're being helped and you're making money every day. I, after all, that's probably the most important part. Having said all that, I'm going to jump into my very short watch list. LL back on watch today. I went for a lunchtime walk. And, and I said before I left, I said, guys, LL, over the high of the day, no matter what the market's doing, it'll probably give a pop. And, uh, and it did while I was at my lunchtime walk, which I didn't care. I basically met very close to meeting my daily goal in the morning. And, uh, but it still would have been nice to be part of that one. But anyway, LL goes back on watch because of pops like this. Okay, When you come out of a narrow range and it's beaten up like this on the daily, um, you, know, you could also say maybe a double bottom in progress. News could come out at any time too, which could squash the shorts or squash the longs, but this one, very news driven. So you definitely want to have LL on a chart. All right, um, 
Next, VVUS, this one still looking good. Um, you had this break above three on good volume. Sellers came in and it's right back up near that three day high. So I think VVUS might take off. W, I had a couple trades in this one today, um, actually, and it looks good. It came down, touched the eight day. Now you got a little hammer candle. Tons of shorts, over 60% short last I saw in this name, and it's a low float. So this one can really move at times. And in the afternoon, kind of put in this nice long sideways consolidation. So up over 3140, this one might pop. Um, that's not the only way I'll play it, but that's one way. Um, that's uh, W. ASTI, kind of a lower volume um, solar play, I guess. Uh, had this really big pop back here. We had a great trade on this one back on the day that it gapped up. Um, huge percentage gain there in just a few minutes. Since then, it's been tapering off. I believe it was earnings today and a decent little volume pop. Um, you can kind of picture a trend line right there that it might just get through. Um, so, you know, if this this can get up above $1.50, you might challenge and take out this other high of $1.66 and maybe start heading up to two. So I like the stacked catalysts on ASTI. CLDN, um, really strong stock, but now three days down in a row, getting, to the, getting close to the 20 day. Um, I really want to watch that one for a bounce. It's a great bounce play candidate. Um, and then, again, I only take bounces uh, with the proper intraday setup. Um, and you've probably seen that in a lot of my videos. And I got to put, speaking of outliers, I've got to put RTRX um, on my watch list. A big volume pop here, and it closed pretty much at its high. So this one could have maybe a red to green move tomorrow, or uh, this was the pre-market high, by the way. So there's another possible catalyst if we get up above that sometime. But um, I'd like to see it open, you know, below today's high of 2020 um, and then maybe break through it later in the day, something like that. So have RTRX on watch. Um, and you know what? I'm going to keep my watch list uh, very short and simple like that. Um, we'll find other stuff. We'll find gappers in the morning, too. And uh, I'll leave it at that. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.